The focus of our research is bone regeneration in complex skeletal diseases. For example, when people have lost a large part of their bone due to trauma or due to a bone tumor that has been resected. Amir is trying to create an implant with nanopatterns that communicates with stem cells and instructs them to grow in a specific direction, which stimulates new bone tissue. This would mean a complete part of a missing bone could be regrown. We could make uh, very complex, arbitrarily complex nanopatterns on flat surfaces, but only on flat surfaces. Most of the cases not good enough for bone tissue regeneration, which is happening in 3D. To overcome this problem, Zadpor intends to create a flat surface with imprinted complex nanopatterns that are instructive for stem cells. At the same time, the material on which the patterns are being imprinted is thought to go into a 3D shape when being triggered by an external stimulus, such as heat. Together, this would generate a complex 3D shape with nano patterns. Our goal was to come up with a method which is fully automated, but also simple and inexpensive. Using 3D printing, we can program shape-shifting in those uh, polymer materials by simultaneously extrusion and stretching of the filament. Upon activation at high temperature, the structure will shrink in the direction of printing. Time to live work uh, based on uh, incorporating uh, porosity inside the structure of the material, uh, which uh, allows uh, to uh, control the heat transfer. And then based on that, we can uh, program the sequence of uh, shape-shifting. We have come a long way, but we still have a few major challenges ahead of us for the coming years. We should be able to make microscale structures using self-folding techniques in order to be able to make bone scaffolds. The kind of research that we do is high risk, high gain. So I don't know where we will end up five years from now. What I do know though, is that the future medical implants will not look like the current ones.